Hello, my dear lovely students of class 8. Now it's a time for the revision. Your unit tests are here, and I'm going to be take an entire chapter revision of your chemistry that is synthetic fiber and plastics. Okay, this is completely based on your Cordoba learning series. So I hope it is very useful to you. Right, so what we are going to be study inside it that is uh, fibers, type of fibers, monomers and polymer. This is new term for you. Uses of different fibers, advantages and disadvantages of fibers. Then we are coming to the next part that is plastics, which is often used in nowadays. The kinds of plastics, its properties, uses, its bad effect, and ultimately the solution. Because without solution, we can't do anything, right? So, let's we are going to be start. Do you know what is the uh, fibers? Fiber is nothing. You can see on your page that is fiber is a very strong, very 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 strong. You can say. This is the fiber if you say. So, this is contrastly like that, right? There are so many, 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 many fibers. Minute fibers are endowed with it, and that's why it is very strong. So, okay. So, fiber is strong. Even we can bend it from here to here, here to here. So, this fiber. It spread like its texture and it is used so many things uh, that we can say it is used for the rope making, for the nets, uh, uh, for the making of the cloths uh, and so on. So, okay. So, next come. The fiber may be the two types. First one is mutual fiber and second one is synthetic fiber. Okay. You can see the fiber which is obtained from the plants and animals. Okay. They are called the mutual fiber. Where is the synthetic fiber? They are often uh, not obtained from the nature, but it is made by the humans with, with, with some uh, synthetic process, right? So, what are the examples of mutual fiber? Mutual fibers can be the two type, right? What can be the its type? It may be the two type. If we are talking about the mutual fiber, it may be coming from the plants. Or it may be coming from the animals, like wool. What is wool? Wool is uh, coming from the sheep, right? Even from the yolk. Besides that, the silkworm is also the example of the animal fiber. Okay. The second one is the plant fiber. Plant fiber like a cotton, like a, there are so many things. Okay, so we are going to be show you from your book just a second, right? So here you can see the example of plant fiber are the bull and silk. These are the animal fiber, but the jute fiber, cotton fiber, or linen, these are the natural fibers. So okay, now we are coming on the polymer. So first we are going to be learn the definition of monomer. What is the monomer? Uh, you can see over here. This is a necklace. Here so many beads are here. Right? And here you can see in the picture number B. There are so many paper clips. We are going to be attach them in a series. It means they made a series. Right? Every unit of these necklace or the paper clips long chain is a monomer. Right? So, monomer is what? It's the smallest unit of any polymer that is called monomer. It is its chemical unit. Okay. So, now we are going to be define it. A monomer is a small molecule which is combined together and to end in a large number and form a larger unit that is called polymer. It means it's a unit of polymer. Besides that, what is a polymer? It's a very large unit that is formed of the combination of so many monomers. 
so many molecule small molecules right so in this uh, synthetic fibers and plastic the this is the basics monomers and polymers are the basic so many monomers are joined together and they form the polymer and they form the fiber or the plastic so poly means many mono means single mer means it's repeating unit so now the new term is there polymerization you can see here the polymerization is what that is the process of joining together uh, the smaller molecules that is monomer into the larger molecules right here you can see this is the silk worm right this is a silk worm it provide a silk this is the sheep it provide the wool this is the cotton plant it provide the cotton this is a hair this is a goat they are also provide a uh, natural fiber from their hairs this is the linen plant uh, sorry this is the linen we are got it from the flax plant basically this is the flax plant right so now we are coming here is the plant fiber and the animal fiber you can see the cotton the linen the jute this is the most important type this is the linen which is made up of from the flax plant please learn this one otherwise you know come to the animal plant fibers that is mulberry silk worm why it is called the mulberry silk worm because mulberry is the name of tree where the silk worm is survive you know this is a very uh, bad process of knitting the silk if you are talking about the silk so i just want to tell you this is uh, the silk production process is started in the china okay this one is wrong that is from the china right so wool that is completely from the this one here you can see the silk worm the spine thread is about 1000 to 3000 long matlab it's so 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 fine you can see you are already learned in the first chapter that is sharing of uh, wool right so let's go for the next one synthetic fiber okay synthetic fiber is a chain of small units joined together each small unit is called monomer we already learned large chain formed by the many monomer that is called polymer right now the we what is polymerization process of combining small molecules from a large polymer it called polymerization this is you can see these are the small 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 monomers right and they got to form any polymer how they provide the polymer this 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 they join attached to each other but this process is called polymerization this is the monomer this is the polymer but this process is called polymerization right so now we can go for the next here you can see in your book this is the synthetic fibers you can see over here just see okay this is the monomer right and uh, this is these are the monomer and these are the polymer and this process is called formation of uh, polymer from the monomer is called polymerizations right now come to over here this is a very important questions for you these two mostly they are asked in a one mark questions especially maybe in your youtube right so this you can see over here this is the glucose molecule glucose 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 so many glucose are joined together and it form the cellulose which is from the cotton polymer this is the natural polymer so questions come from the natural polymer and second one that is polymerizations now we are talking in the synthetic fiber you can see this is the amide molecule amide 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 plus amide and the polymerization is going on and it is made up the polyamide that is this one you can see that is the nylon okay this is for the nylon right here can we can see over here 
the polymerization may be the polymers may be two types first one is linear polymer when they are in a series so many monomer they are linked together in a line that is called linear polymer whereas when they are cross linked to each other you can see this is a very complex structure they are attached from if we are talking about this one this is attached from here this is attached from here this is attached from here even this is attached from here also it means they are linked together from every side so that is called the cross linked polymer the plastic is an example of the cross linked polymer now we are going to be learn some important polymers like rayon why we are going to be take the first rayon because this is also called artificial silk please remember this is called artificial silk this is a one mark questions right and this is a cheaper than silk and it is dry easily as well right so it is very very useful you can see over here see how rayon is used for the textile industry obviously just like a silk we are we can make the shining sheets dresses apron caps from it it when we are going to be uh, mix it with a wool so we can make the durable carpets and even we can make the tiles right and uh, in the rowing uh, it is also used as a uh, surgical bandage and all that right the second important fiber that is a uh, nylon why it is called the nylon ni means new okay why means york so new york is there new york is in the america so that is ny and what about the l o n l o n means london so why it is called the nylon because it was introduced first into the new york and the london so that's why its name become the nylon this is the first fully made synthetic fiber this is another one mark question is there okay so now uh, i am going to be show some uh, pictures again to you just a second you can see this is the rayon okay so rayon is prepared from the cellulose so we already uh, said over here that it's from the cellulose so the cellulose is a natural fiber it needs the extensive chemical treatment to form the rayon this is rayon is also called artificial silk i already told you it absorb and comfortable to be as we die right now come to this question but you can see new york and the first three letters from the london i already told you right nylon is a polyamide so if anyone talks to you ki what is the monomer of nylon that is amide this is please remember this is a one mark question polyamide that's why it is called polyamide or nylon right okay so come to the next nylon that is also very strong lustrous uses of nylon we are directly come over here i am going to be repeat this one again but please right now i am according to your book okay so this is very strong and it is does not absorb the water so that's why it is used as a fishing net you can see um uh, you are in a goa and so many fishes uh, fish catchers are here right we are using it as a climbing rope the parachute fabrics uh, your raincoats right and the strings your brushes the most of the things they are made from here you can see this uh, nylon shock because it is elastic okay the rope the nylon string which is used in your badminton and um, in the uh, what that game is uh, hmm, what is the name of that game uh, my son like that like a badminton this one anyone could you please tell me uh, this kind of a uh, these string are made from the nylon right so here we can say so you can see these are the nylon saris these are the nylon shirts and neck ties is also made from it okay 
Now the next fiber is the polyester. I am going to be repeat in a right away as well. Okay, the polymer <coughs> polyester is made up of a repeating unit of chemical that is called ester. So if anybody told you ki so many ester molecules are formed and after polymerization it formed the uh, polyester. So its name according to that. So that is this is the polymer and this is the monomer, right? So it's very simple for you. What is the uh, uses of polymer? It is used in the uh, dress materials. Okay, it is used in the sails. I mean, you can see over here. This is the sail, and this is in the bottle house. It belt conveyed belt. What is the conveyed belt? Um. Uh, uh, in the gym, we are saying the running machine, na? that is called the conveyed, conveyor belt, okay. So, it is also used here. Now, here is the one mark question is coming over here again. What is that? One is the polyester that is called, okay, I will tell you, uh, tell you again. So, just give me a time. So, we are going to, for the next slide. This is the ring, you can see it. I am coming back uh, in a last portion. What is this? You can see over here. This is your rayon. Uh, that is your first fiber. Its properties, it's a very good absorbent of soil. This easily dried, draped well, luscious, shining. Na? That's why artificial silk is called. Uses of that thing, you can see. Mixed with the fiberglass and make the helmet. Material because of the soft, silky, okay, curtains because it trapped well upholstery luxury cars in the home furnishing it means whatever your sofa is there na, that cloth is made by the rayon reinforcing nylon tires the surgical pressing okay we already learn about it so now uh, i'm going to be stop over here so this was this is one the nylon the second fiber i told you that is polyamide i told you strongest fiber this one is important strongest fiber it is strong and easy to dry so fiber not absorb water other one are absorb water but less but it, it does not absorb water so now that's why we are using it in the raincoats with the sailing plastic is nature very durable so what are the uses of uh, what are the properties of nylon tough elastic lustrous tensile it means you can stretch it Okay, it can be made the plates and powders and all that. Okay, so I hope it is very useful for you. So I am going to the next slide. Clear? This is the uses of necklace. Uh, nylon. Uh, New York and London. It is over there. This is the first synthetic fiber. Complete synthetic fiber, you know. Sari is stretchable beers, seat belt, upholstery, ropes, reel thread, reel means uh, thread reel is there, na? thread, sleeping bed, swimming wears, raincoat, thread suit, fishing linings, etc. There are so many uses of this nylon, you know. Okay, come to this one, polyester we are uh, discussing, that is Alcohol and organic acid react together and make the compound called ester, which is a polymer. And when so many esters are uh, joined together and made the polyester, right? For what are the example of polyester? These are the terylene. Now, here is a very important question. Terylene is a one polyester, we understand. Besides that, decron, terene, polyester, these all are the type of polyester. What are the properties? You can see, use in the pastes and chemical resistance. Matter its property. Matter normally, um, no insect can be destroyed. The polyester cloths or polyester uh, things. It is very tough and light as well. Dries very quickly. It's a permanent crease if heated and pressed. Easy to wash. Does not make a stain. So it means you are not need to press it, right? So I want to tell you about the simple thing about this terylene. This terylene. 
when we are going to make this terry lean plus boon so it made terry boon right so so many carpet made from it but when we are going to be made with terry bool i mean terry lean plus with cotton so it made the terry cot so these both terry bool and terry cot both are very important uh, fabrics actually so we are going to be used in a many 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 manners right so now what are the uses according to that mm, it is used for the making the cassettes and the floppy disk right uh, sometimes you are saying no there uh, there was a one time of cassettes are here like that before sometimes here is a one reel around there this reel is made by this polyester right in the film industry it is used too much these were called the cassettes okay then we are going to be mixed with it and then we made the helmets as well okay it's uh, in the suiting shirting and the sarees and the wrapping it is often used right and it is also cheap fiber so most of the people are using that the last fiber we are talking over here that says acrylic okay this is used as a substitute of wool so you can understand whatever um, the woolen cloth especially in the north india it is used over here at this is the strongest and the wrinkle resistant mostly wood is eaten by the insects but do not acrylic so it's a paste resistance as well oh for oh yeah, here they are olive really resist from the moth oil chemicals deterioration's and exposure in the sunlight otherwise normal wool is uh, become uh, bad in in the case of uh, all these effects right so you can see over here these are the some questions are uh, already given this is the acrylic fiber here you can see the pat please learn this full form pat polythene tetra patellate polythene tetra patellate if you listen this one uh, my voice so you can learn right now so what is this one again polythene tetra patellate pet what is the pet most of the waters and tiffins in our home they are used uh, with this plastic which is called pet pat right so now this one is you can see the acrylic fiber this is the synthetic fiber again this is polyacrylyl nitrile obtained by the polymerization of the large number of acrylonitrile molecule acrylonitrile why this one first molecule is acryl this one or nitrile means nitrogen it made from there so please how the acrylic molecules is made up of acrylo nitrile molecule it's simple okay so why where we are going to be use this one uh, we are using in this one in the cushions in the shawls in the blankets in the jacket and in the most of the woolen product we are going to be made from it right now these are the your uh, multiple choice questions first one which is uh, following is not a synthetic fiber simple cellulose is made up of the large number of uh, glucose okay parachute i think you can do very easily no oh this one uh, i was told you the terry lean mixed with the cotton so it means terry coat right or if it is made with the wool then it is called the terry wool okay acrylic fiber is used to we already see over here shawls right oh even blanket in this weather of course all of these so answer will be all of these right now what are the advantages of the synthetic fiber so i am going to be take this one in the next slide this is the acrylic fiber we already discussed over here discussed right so uh, this is a new term which is not given in your book that is the blending fiber what are the blending fiber i am already given you the example of the terry coat and the terry wool when we are going to mix 
two kind of uh, fibers to each other they are going to be blended so that's why they are called the blending fiber if you have a one mark questions find out which one of the following is a blended fiber or the blending fiber so you can understand okay so they are blend so polyester and cotton they are going to be blend it is become crease resistant okay they are the less expensive so we are going to be use right okay so what are the advantages advantages of this one you can see they dry very well okay mm. Uh, cheap most important they are strong they are uh, retained in their original shape they are elastic they are soft they are variety variety of colors are available their cost their cost is very less and they are cheap so most of the people are using these synthetic fibers what are the bad thing about these fibers uh obviously the bad thing obviously um, they do not absorb the water right and um, irritation irritation will be there irritation right and maybe the some skin allergy okay oh the most important it catch fire very easily right so if any one wear the these uh, synthetic Uh, cloth at that time so um, if uh, it is near by the fire na they uh, catch the fire very easily okay even uh, if we are going to be press it na most of the time uh, they are burn actually okay now come to the plastics what is the plastics the plastic is basically you can see most of the things are made up from the plastics the bottles the play uh, sets i mean uh, toys the tables and most of the household things are made from the plastic even these stadium seats and so many things so we can't replace the plastic so many things very easily right so now we are going what are the type of plastics this is a polymer i already told you this can be the two type the thermostatic plastic and the thermoplastic thermo means hot or heat when they are going to be heat someone they can mold right they can mold if they are easily mold and the heating uh, we can give this then the shape again and again this means this kind of a plastic is thermoplastic right but if after one heating they set it means they will take a permanent shape and now we cannot remold it this kind of a plastic that is called the thermo setting plastic you can understand from this one right now we are going to take the difference between them it is very important uh, in the final point of view you can see over here please learn from your book as well what is the nature thermoplastic the plastic which can be melt repeatedly by the heating hardened and cooling they can be molded again and again so most important thing it can be molded again and again on the heating where is this this cannot be soft after one heating okay and now what is the effect of heat second point they are become soft on heating but they do not become soft on heating toughness they are lesser tough in comparison of the thermosetting plastic they are more tough and rigid um, i can give you the example so you can do uh, easily this one you can see bakelite melamine formica so how um, your electric switches they are made from it your 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 uh, mm, handles right handles of uh, mm, in your cookware they are also made by Uh, this plastic, this thermosetting plastic, right? Now, come to the page number point number four, that is effect of high temperature. Uh, on the effect of uh, they are very very less resistant. They mold very easily. Where in the case of the thermosetting plastic, they are, they can resist the high temperature. Okay, in the wires, the wires are uh, covered with this one. 
Why? Because they can do the most important thing that is the recycling. So in the recycle, they can be recycled easily, but they cannot be. They are only for the one time use. Example, polythene, PVC. I already showed you the bakelite, melamine and formica. Okay. Now, come to the next point. You see why this plastic is very important for to us. So, so we can see the properties of these. You can see over here. It uh, do not corrode. Uh, like a, you know, uh, it can resist the high temperature, insulate heat and electricity. It is elastic as well. Thermoplastic can be recycled. So, no reaction with the water and the chemicals. So, we can fill uh, the most reactive chemicals inside it as well. These are the water resistance and they can be remolded as well. Now, we are going to be see over here. This is the important one. Please learn this one. PVC full form. PV means, PVC means polyvinyl chloride. Right? So, it is used to making the PVC pipe, water pipes. So, it is also used as a sole of your shoes or a sandal, making the handbags, bath towels, etc. You can see over here, these are the pipes, your raincoat, PVC sole, right? Okay, uh, you can see second one, this thermocol, this is also made by the plastic and it is used for so many things, thermocol, for the packing material, for the computers, the cell phone, so many things it is the plastic is so strong and durable for example we can take uh, the thermosetting plastic which is used in the making of handles you can of our uh, cookware right the polystyrene that is very very good insulator you can see this one bakelite handle is there right this is the melamine is used to make a cookware so, okay so you can see now the most important thing the plastic and environment there are so many disadvantages of the plastics so you can see even uh, nowadays plastic become very important in our day to day life so we are depending directly or indirectly on the plastics right but uh, it's polluting the earth that is very bad this is not biodegradable what is the degradable uh, which can be rotate, uh, sorry, rot easy. I mean, mixed to the soil very easy. That is called the biodegradable. But these are not biodegradable. It means uh, they pollute our earth too much. So we have to be stop the one time of use plastics, right? So in a few hours, uh, but there is some solution of that. The some scientists uh, discovered the photo degradable plastic means if the light sunlight is uh, uh, on them now they are going to be rot but eventually till now they are taken very long time to rot so this is not useful till now okay they are um, scientists have also try to make uh, the some biopolymers some biodegradable polymers as well like uh, they are made it from the corn starch which is uh, rapidly dissolved in water but let's see how much they can useful for us you can see this is the figure from your book these are the switches these are the insulated wires okay these are the some important questions right uh, what is the uh, non-stick cookware uh, which plastic is used which is one is most elastic what is eczema okay this one is eczema is important Eczema is basically a skin disease, right? Uh, some kind of uh, mm, ring uh, on your skins, irritating irritation is there. The electric switch is made by the. Okay, you can do it. I think there is very 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 simple questions are there, right? Now, come to the next one. This one, okay. So this is very harmful for us. So what we have to be do? So we have some solution. So, we have a 5R formula is, is there. Please learn it uh, in a series. First one is refuse. But the most of the time, we have to be refused to use the plastic. If we have a, some alternative source, so we have to be go for it. Okay. Then, if we are needed it, then go for the reduce. 
इट मीन्स इफ वी नीड फाइव बॉटल्स ऑफ बॉन्डिटा इन अ मंथ सो वट वी कैन डू सो वी कैन यूज द वन बॉटल ऑफ द वन बीटा इन स्टीड ऑफ द फाइव बॉटल सो वॉट वी कैन डू वी कैन टेक द रिफिल पैक सो वी कैन रिड्यूज इट और सेकेंडली वट द थर्ड स्टेप इज री यूज द दिस वन बॉटल वेन इट इज बिकम ब्लैंक वी कैन यूज इट एज अ शुगर बॉक्स एज अ सम स्पाइसिस और अदर यूटेंसिल्स वट एवर इन अ डेली यूज बिसाइड्स वी आर गोइंग टू बी बाय अ न्यू प्रोडक्ट सो कि वी कैन री यूज इट सो दैट इज इफ आफ्टर दैट इट इज बिकम नॉट सो यूजफुल राइट नाउ एंड लाइक कंडीशन इज नॉट सो गुड देन वी कैन टेक इट्स फोर स्टेप्स फोर्थ स्टेप एंड वॉट इज दैट फोर्थ स्टेप दैट फोर्थ स्टेप इज रिसाइकल देन वी आर गोइंग टू बी पुट इट इन टू दिस वन यू कैन सी टू टाइप ऑफ वेस्ट इज देयर दैट इज द वेट वेस्ट एंड द ड्राई वेस्ट यू कैन सी सो वी हैव टू बी पुट इट इन टू द ब्लू डस्टबिन इन द ब्लू डस्टबिन हैज अ नॉन बायोडिग्रेडेबल वेस्ट इज आउट देयर इट मीन द प्लास्टिक एंड ऑल थिंग्स सो दिस इज गोन फॉर द रिसाइकल और वी आर ऑल्सो गोइंग टू बी सेल इट टू द कबाडी वाला इट मीन्स इट्स अ डबल बेनिफिट वी हैव गेन सम मनी फ्रॉम इट एंड ही हैज रोजगार एज वेल एंड इट इज गोइंग टू बी रिसाइकल राइट यू कैन सी दिस इज अ वेरी वेरी एयर पॉल्यूशन इज देयर वाटर पॉल्यूशन इज देयर सॉल पॉल्यूशन इज ऑल्सो देयर बिकॉज ऑफ दिस प्लास्टिक सो नाउ वी कैन यूज रिसाइकल इट एंड लास्टली वट एवर already we have uh, the problem uh, pollution and all that because of the plastic so we have to be recover it how we are going to be recover it we have to plant the trees especially on your birthday and after that we have to be take care of that plant as well so why plant so plant is a um, trees we are provide the oxygen so recovery is more easy for everyone right so this formula of 5r formula is very very important to use in the solution of the problem of the plastic have you seen uh, the movie um, mission mars right in that one also they are using the plastics in a very very well manner right here this is a revision chart for you you can see these are the fibers strong and flexible tight natural fiber and synthetic fiber advantages of the synthetic fibers are the high tensile strength low water absorption good elasticity wrinkle and absorption uh, uh, abrasion resistance moth resistance it means insect cannot be eat them lightweight and inert inert means they cannot be react from any other chemical less expensive what are the bad effect of that melt and burn easily non biodegradable uncomfortable especially in summer and they causes the skin disease as well what are their properties non reactive we already done right it can be two type monomer and the polymer come to the plastics type of plastic thermoplastic and the thermosatin plastic which can be melt easily recyclable that is thermoplastic they cannot be remolded that is the thermosatin plastic like a bakelite molonine what are the five r formula refuse reduce reuse and the recycle and recover you can make uh, this your palm right your five fingers are there and you can made like this r1 r2 r3 r4 and r5 right you can learn from this one it may be the one mark questions for your examination so this is a whole revision for you if you have any questions from over here uh, there's a one mark question you can take example of the natural fiber basically bone silk synthetic fiber we can take the nylon the acrylic fiber the rayon etc polyester fiber mean do polyester polyester poly uh, that is uh, you can see polyester itself a fiber and uh, besides that you can take another one mm, please take from the book 